that can move to another location I would advise you to do it see I told you guys that there was going to be some destruction to Ohio and it did happen to Ohio but it happened to Illinois and Indiana also when it went down so they never let you all know that my Ohio prophecy came true they didn't tell you that but it did and you can bet your ass that the Seattle prophecy is going to come true also because you guys had it really good and I pointed out to you who I was I told you all that I was Son God alright it's been a whole history of us all through history they stole the whole Jesus thing from us the melanated people so it's been nothing but lies after lies after lies after lies okay and the universe is sick of that shit I'm gonna get my I'm just letting y'all know. I know y'all say, I don't give a fuck if you leave. Well, you know what? That's why I'm leaving. Because you guys had a chance to show appreciation for God's son living in your city. And you didn't do nothing but neglect me. And you think I'm going to be out here working for these stupid ass $8, $10 an hour jobs. And just get stuck into that shit and never be able to do the work that I was sent here to do. But that's not going to happen, see. Because the universe is very wise. And the universe knows what it put into me. And it's saying to me, you go do what I tell you to do. I want you to take your ass to Chicago. And that's what you're going to fucking do. It doesn't say it like that. That's me to say it that way. But the persistence is, you keep sitting around here and not listening to what I tell you. And I'm going to serve your ass. Because I, myself more than anything likes to listen to my mother problem is you get attached to earthly things and you care about them even if they don't care about you you still care about them but see some people are so stuck in the world that they can't see the God in you they can't see any they don't even want to see the father in you so if they can't see the father in you how are they going to see a God energy inside of you and that's because the world have misled everyone and they give you white Jesus and tell you he's your father, our father in heaven. No, he's not. If he was, where was his ass at when y'all enslaved us for 500 years? Why didn't your father come to you and say, no, you shouldn't do that. This is wrong. Let me tell you why. Because when the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land, with it all course to possess it, and has cast out many nations before thee, the Hiddies, the Virtuities, the Rorities, and Canaanites, and Perizzides, and Hivites, and Jebusides, and when the Lord thy God shall deliver them before thee, thou shalt smite them. So, it said, when the Lord God delivered them before thee, kill them. So your God is not teaching you to love black people. It taught you to kill black people. Right in this book here. That's called the Holy Bible. No, I just read that out of there. Instructions to murder. I did. That's where they were at. Right in there. Don't blame me. It was in that book. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I'm going to get my shit together and I'm going to be moving up out of here. And I'm going to be moving to Chicago. And there's a good reason for that. I'm going to tell you why. Because when I get to Chicago, I'm not going to be living in this state anymore. Which is going to make things be in a position where when I give your ass a chance to buy that green light again when I get there to Chicago. And your ass don't buy it. Guess what? I'm not going to be here when I water come and get your ass. I'm not. And I'm going to go to Chicago and I'm going to get hooked up with some people down there that's going to help me and give me the support that I need so I could become a productive person and have me a, a job working with people that I know is qualified to be able to receive my life force. I'm not going to be utilizing my life force to support a corporation that is enslaving people okay all these corporations Nike all these conglomerates McDonald's making killings getting so filthy rich and then taking advantage of people destroying the rainforest in Brazil okay 
destroying everything on earth, cutting down bulldozing, just don't care. Just don't care. So I'm regeneration, which means that I can't come here and work for the power structure that wants to kill us, Jabizides and Habibides, all right, and the Canaanites, all that evil murder stuff, okay? I don't want to support them. Why should I support them? I'd be a damn idiot. Half, half the time, sit around here starving. All this stuff going on on the earth, people starving. The fish swimming into shore dying because they didn't even kill the fish. See, Jesus didn't even kill the fish. All this happening on Jesus' watch. And you guys can't understand that there's the need for change. No one can see that. Okay? You got the president and all those bastard commie fucks behind him or in front of him. They can push them out there to be the scapegoat. And not none of them people can find the solution to the earth problems. Nobody can get together and make everyone have a tree ties with each other and stop fighting. All these nations can't get together and come up with fix the world day where they can all get together and we all farm and grow food together so everyone can eat all this stuff going on on the planet deliberately to make everyone fall to the wayside and then all you people sit around and watch and don't want to do anything about expelling any of your energies to try to make a better world for the people that's coming later behind us no you rather sit your ass up here and try to do everything you can to make the world bad for the people that's right here immediately with you all right family structure been destroyed there's so many people that is just disappointed to see how this society can brainwash your children make them be some damn idiots okay I'm not just talking about my children. I'm talking about all the children on the planet. My children is pretty smart. But I know for a fact, had I not had to disappear on them and, and move away because of all this stupid shit that you have to go through with it. The worst thing that a black man can do is get into an interracial marriage and have children by a white woman. Outside of your black... It's hard for a black man to have children with a black woman. Her crazy ass want to be in love with Jesus start teaching your children all that bullshit but it's even worse when you have children by a white woman because now you got children that's going to always be around white people that's filling their head over bullshit about black being fucked up that's all y'all do we all know that so they grow up missed in the world because they don't identify with being black because they don't want to be on that side where they're going to get treated bad and then they can't be on the white side because all the white people look at them and see the blackness in them and they don't say it, but they be like, if anything goes down, we're going to team up on the nigger. We all know that, right? This is our little white thing. Then you got these little mixed kids that go around and want to just fit in with the white world and try to just totally overlook the black, which I can't blame them because black people are stupid as hell. I just was telling you about the two black men who didn't want to have nothing to do with me because I didn't want to have nothing to do with their enslaver. So this is the ignorance that's got our world all torn up. And so is there a problem with black men having babies with white women? Hell yeah. Is there a problem with white men having babies with black women? Hell yeah. Big time. Because these children always grow up lost and divided. Somebody told me that when I was a small kid. They told me that. When I see me with a white girl told me, say, look man. You shouldn't be doing that, man. You have babies with them. The babies come out destroyed. I looked at the guy and I thought to myself, what an idiot to say some shit like that. People are people. Shit. No, they're not. No, they're not. You got some horrible people on this earth that would enslave people just because of their skin color and think that it's justified by their God. It's right in here. I just read it to you. Murder them. Going to the land of them to possess. Ain't that what it said? When the Lord thy God shall bring thee into the land whither thou goest to possess. In other words, I'm going to take you somewhere and you're going to take these people's shit from them. In the name of their God. So the problem with us black people on this earth is that we are saturated with the ignorance of European people. 
and then you stagnate us so much that you make us try to find completeness outside of ourselves. And that means we dissect ourselves even more or um, delude ourselves even more. And then now we add to the equation as to where later in life when you're supposed to have children that you can depend on if you need them. You got some resentful children that want to sit up and look at you and say, well, I don't know if I really want to accept you yet. You know. And then you have to ask yourself, you mean to tell me that I had the nerves to get on top of that Ooh. and squirt your ass? If it was any time that a person should have been listening, it was when that guy was telling me, don't get the white girls pregnant. And I don't say that because I hate my children. I say that because I hate the circumstance of the relationship that I have with my children. And they don't even understand the true dynamics of the world because they've been given false information by these white people out here who does not want them to tap into their black power, their black greatness. So that's what they do. They try to lock all the black people down. They made the movie Batman, gave them a black cape, black car, black suits, black everything. And he going to his house, he opened up his closet. Every suit in the closet was a black suit. So they know the true blackness of the skin is the true power of the universe, just like the black soil and like the black cosmos that you see at night in the sky when you see the stars and everything. So the universe knows what it was doing when the implement is black. Okay, it already knows. Black is the power of color. We got a world with these imposters that want to walk around and we try to make black be subservient to white. So they do it through force and through all type of deceitful practices and, and neglect creating homelessness, joblessness and all this evil shit is all done in the name of Christianity so that stuff's gonna have to stop I mean that's just the truth about it because the universe is going to send these tornadoes in this water but like I was saying about Seattle when the hole opens up it's gonna let water out so fast and it's going to be a vacuum isn't this is how it's going to happen the water instead of coming from the ocean into land is going to come from underground into land meaning it's not going to jump it's not going to jump no sea balls the cavity is going to open up right in the middle of the city and bring the water in that way and you guys are just going to get enough water to just destroy it, everything, make everything topsy-turvy, and then you're going to know that Asar ain't no joke. He's really connected with the cosmic forces. Because I am. And they're the ones who are telling me to tell you this. This has nothing to do with what I want. See, they told me to come here to Washington because they watched how these people here in Washington hoard everything for themselves. Washington got the smallest population of people than any other state in this country. They have the largest source of revenue and the largest land mass per, per person. In other words, with all the land that's here and the small amount of people that populate Washington, it is pathetically rich. I mean, pathetically rich. They have uranium here and all type of minerals here that they're mining out of the ground and making a killing and getting super rich. And then they don't even want everybody to have decent jobs so we can all live. And because of their selfish greed, cracker greed, selfish cracker greed, they came down here with their guns and their religion and reduced everyone, murdered everyone. You saw what they did down south in Bolivia, okay, Brazil. You see the poverty down there. This is European induced poverty. These white men go around the world and steal everything and use their guns and their judicial system in this piece of shit right here to steal from everyone and hoard every damn thing and it did not go unnoticed by the universe the universe knows exactly who's doing what and she